Welcome to the lesson on hypovolemic shock. In this video, we'll discuss recognizing hypovolemic shock and its signs and symptoms. Hypovolemic shock is the most common type of shock and perhaps the easiest to understand. It occurs when there's insufficient blood in the cardiovascular system, which can be due to hemorrhage externally or into the peritoneum or into the gastrointestinal system. Hypovolemic shock in children can also occur from water loss, perspiration, diarrhea, vomiting, or when fluid moves into the tissues. In hypovolemic shock, preload to the heart is decreased, that is, there is less volume to fill the heart, though contractility is normal or increased. Likewise, afterload is increased since the vessels have constricted in an attempt to increase blood pressure. Signs and symptoms of hypovolemic shock include possible tachypnea, tachycardia, adequate or low blood pressure, narrow pulse pressure, slow capillary refill, weak peripheral pulses, normal central pulses, possible decreased urine output, and decreased level of consciousness. This concludes our lesson on hypovolemic shock. Next, we'll review distributive shock.